Hi my friend, welcome back to another to another live stream. Very welcome. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, share the live with other friends. After one minute, we gonna start. Basically, in this live stream, I'm going to teach you how to read the schematics. We gonna deal with schematic reading. So let's wait one minute. Two minutes and get started. welcome again so let's get started without wasting time God, i'm going to teach you in this live about schematics because i get a lot of comments a lot of questions 
about how to read basically schematic. Uh, Morillo, gracias, Ingeniero. You are uh, muchas gracias. You are very welcome, my friend. So, guys, let's dive in. Okay, I'm going. We're gonna basically check three main schematic. We're gonna see the charge circuit. We're gonna dive in the CPU circuit. We're gonna see also the three volt, five volt circuit, and also we're gonna see the voltage for chipset and for the RAM. So let's get started, my friends. <coughs> Okay, let's begin with the CPU. Okay, the CPU, the master, the head of any motherboard. So basically, guys, this is the schematic for the CPU. Can you please tell me in the comment, did you see the schematic? Or I can zoom in a little bit. Guys, did you did you see the schematic, please? Here we have the, the control IC. Here we have MOSFET. I have the VCC core. Basically, we have uh, the B plus here. Did you see the schematic, my friends? Please tell me in the comments. Okay, guys, tell me please if the schematic is clear or not. Okay, not clear. Aziz Yenka, not clear. Thank you, my friends. Let's do a little bit like this. Maybe now clear a little bit. If I make it like this, maybe like this clear. Good. Okay, I will put something here. Okay, I will deal with the problem. Now maybe it's good. Okay, my friends, let's dive in. So, guys, this is basically the schematic for the CPU that I'm going to teach you right now. We're gonna see basically main schematics. Uh, of course, this this live stream today is based on some comment of some of my followers that ask me about do you want to learn how to raise schematics? Very easy, my friends. So basically, for those schematics, the circuits are a little bit same, the same architecture. Always you will find the IC, the controller, you will find MOSFETs or voltage regulators or switches. You will find, my friend, coil hair for filtering and, of course, some capacitors. For the CPU, my friends, okay, for the CPU, we have the control IC, very important. And as I told you, Base the control IC is the responsible of or for generating here the VCC core, my friend. Do you see plus VCC core? I told you that plus VCC core is the main voltage for the processor. So the responsible is this one. But this one 
will not generate plus VCC core without VIDs. Do you remember one of previous lives? I told you the VID from zero to six. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven V. We have, here we have test point. Do you remember, my friends? I show you this this test point in the motherboard. So this IC will receive VIDs from who? From the processor in order to know the exact voltage needed by the processor. So this point, my friends, are those. Let me show you this test point. Do you see, my friend, TP test point? Basically the same. Let me please check it out. Here, do you see, my friend? Here we have the CPU circuit. Here we have VIDs. Here we have this point, my friend. Those. Those are those. Okay? So, very easy, my friends. If you understand the motherboard, you can understand the schematic. If you understand the schematic, you can understand the, the motherboard. Nothing is difficult with me here, with electronic repair basics. Don't worry, my friends. You're going to understand everything. Just smash that like and attention, please. So, guys, in order to generate plus VCC core here to feed, as you can see, plus VCC core to feed the processor, do I see basically the control I see its reference U1018 must receive first the IDs as you can see VID0, VID1 to 6. From who? From the CPU, my friend. Here we have the CPU. The CPU is what sent these VIDs to the control IC. After receiving the VIDs, this control IC, my friend, basically here we have two channels. We have first channel and we have the second channel. So the uh, the control IC send what will send the control signal. Do you see here, my friends? Here we have drive high one. As you can see, will go directly to what to this MOSFET, and then of course we have here drive low one will go also to the two MOSFETs. Okay, for this channel we have two MOSFETs, low MOSFET and one high MOSFET. The same for this channel, we have dry high, drive high two will go to activate this MOSFET and drive low two to activate these two MOSFETs in order to generate the same voltage. Do you see? These two channels are connected to each other because the, the purpose is to generate plus VCC core to feed the processor. So basically what is the most important here guys? I'm going to teach you what is the most failed component in the CPU. Guys, if you understand this circuit, this CPU circuit, the same working principle for all CPUs, for all circuits. I'm going to teach you in the end, what is the most failed component in CPU circuit? If you have a short, what you have to check? If you have, for example, a failed CPU, what you have to check? And step by step, okay? So once the IC received the IDs, it will generate the control signal for this channel and for this channel. So after, basically, for these voltage regulators or for these MOSFETs, once they receive, do you see here we have gates? Okay, let's make it like this. Here we have gates, gate, again, gate. Once they receive the control IC, they will generate plus VCC core. But how? Pay attention, guys. Here we have plus VBAT. Okay, plus VBAT, or basically we can call it simply. B plus. Okay, let's make it like this. B plus. Okay, my friends. This power basically is from the adapter or from the battery. This power will 
pass through these cinema capacitors. Do you see? Those are cinema capacitors. We have C11, 77, C11, 76, etc. So those cinema capacitors, guys, are here for filtering, to filter the current. And then the B plus will be present here in the drain. This MOSFET has four pin for drain for beginner, three pin for source. The B plus will be here. Once this MOSFET will be activated, the B plus, let's assume here 19 volt, will be basically transformed or converted to one volt. Let's see the processor will, the VCC core is one volt. We will get here one volt. One volt will pass through this coil. The coil here is for filtering. It filter also the coil with the capacitor for filtering purpose. And then we will get plus VCC core. For this channel, the same, my friends. For this channel, the same working principle. We have B plus, the same input. Do you see? B plus, the same input. And do you see, my friend, this line is bold. We have a bold line. But those lines here are thin. This is for control signals. This is what holds currents and voltage. Okay? So the same input, my friends, here, the same input will be applied also to this channel. Guys, the same, the schematic and the motherboard are the same. But if you understand the schematic, you will be master. You will be professional on motherboard repair. Because the skeptic gives you something that is hidden. When you look to the motherboard, it's not like schematic. All clear in the schematic, all is clear. And when you take the motherboard like this, okay, you can imagine, you can imagine the schematic and then you can follow the signal in the motherboard. So guys, the same working principle, B plus will be passed through the ceramic capacitors, applied to this higher MOSFET, it will be gated or controlled by the, con the control IC. The 19 volt will be here one volt, as I told you, because the MOSFET is like a faucet or a tap. Okay, and then we will get also here plus VCC core, as you can see, connected. Why, guys, we have basically here two channels? Because the processor, basically, one channel is not enough for the processor. It needs two channels, three channels, four channels, or more, depending on type of the processor. Okay, guys, but more channels, basically, for old processors. But for newest, two channels are enough. Guys, please pay attention. I want to tell you something very important here. Okay, my friends. Here in the in the input we have four capacitors, okay, with the same characteristics. Okay, 0 0.01 microfarad 50 volt. Okay, my friend, same characteristic. Sometimes you can find this one is burned or is missing or shorted or something like that yes it could it could be shorted because all these capacitors are connected to the ground if you remove it the motherboard will work properly fine why because those capacitors are in parallel if you remove one it will work fine no problem okay my friends the same also for this one so let's check my friends another schematic for the CPU, good. Let's check another skin. Please, my friends, don't forget to like, share the live if you have the opportunity or the poss possibility to share the live for any one of you. If you if you just share this live stream with one person you love or with one interested person, that's good. Okay, my friends, just one. Don't share it with. 